Hello there, my beautiful Cancers, and welcome to your November Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Cancer, we are looking into your love life for the rest of the month of November. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check your other chart placements out on my channel. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. Spirit, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in terms of love for the rest of the month of November. What's going on for my beautiful Cancers? Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Cross Watchers, same message for you. So here we go, Cancer. First card out is coming together, the Two of Cups, Water Energy. We also have Joy and Stability, the Four of Wands. That is Fire Energy. We have Blossom, this is Judgment, Fixed Sign Energy. Simply Love with the Six of Cups, Water Energy. Beautiful, Success and Growth, the Eight of Wands. Fire Energy. And seek with the hermit. This is Virgo energy. Okay, so for my cancers that are in relationships, it looks very nice. For the rest of the month of November, you two look very connected, very much in tune with one another. A lot of conversations, a lot of caring energy, a lot of support, a lot of healing as well. So if there has been an indication of a lack of this energy, it looks like a extreme sense of renewal to a lot of love, a lot of passion, and a lot of healing to the connection. Plain and simple looks really nice for my cancers in relationships. For others of you cancers, I do feel as though you may be reconnecting here with somebody from your past. Um, I feel like they're very interested in being with you, coupling up with you. Um, definitely being in a relationship, but I do feel like you have the choice on if you want to come out of your solitude for this person. For some of you, this could be a new soulmate energy, but if you are single, Cancer, I do feel like you have been very focused on your healing, your growth, you know, really releasing the past really releasing things that no longer serve you, having that sense of self-love. But there is someone here wanting to connect with you. Could be a past energy, could be a newer energy, but they definitely come in as a soulmate. So despite what's going on, there is a soulmate here as a lesson, a blessing, and or a catalyst to help you heal. So let's clarify this spirit for my beautiful cancers and see how this energy transpires. But you have very beautiful theme cards here, but let's give this some clarification and see the details on this energy for cancer. We have the two of cups with the six of wands. We have the four of wands with judgment now here twice. Judgment with the three of wands. Six of Cups with the Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands with the Three of Swords, and the Hermit with the Hanged Man. Oh, right, Cancer. So in terms of Cancers and relationships, I feel like there is a lot of better energy in this connection. I don't know if there was third-party drama, if there was heartbreak, hurt, pain, sadness, but it looks like that's what you're getting a blessing after. So I do feel like a lot of you Cancers feel very emotionally connected to this person, very vulnerable. Um, there could have been pain with this person, yes, there could have been pain from your past, but... It does look like this person's energy is very interested in having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about some sort of pain. So, 
Either this conversation sparks a second chance for this relationship to get better, hence why the renewed sense of love, passion, happiness, enthusiasm, possibly this heart-to-heart -heart conversation was needed to happen for this second chance, for this energy, for you both to choose the new path forward. Because I do feel like somebody here had something they did want to get off their chest and it was a sense of sadness connected to something here and this heart-to-heart -heart conversation will happen and it will help you either strive past this connection or strive in this connection because we do have second story here single cancers you definitely may have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody you hurt or hurt you and it's going to very much help you find healing, find the closure in this connection, and help you either release the sadness with the emotions for this person's energy, or release the sadness and figure out a way to reignite the emotions. Third story, if this is a new person, you two are definitely, you feel the connection right away, which sparks this sort of conversation between the two of you where they want to know what you've been through you want to know what they've been through so you two do not repeat these cycles and definitely if this is a new person with the hanged man here to the hermit they're gonna give you that epiphany moment to come out of the shadows and say you know what I liked the way this started I like how we had a conversation right away about what we've been through and what we want in a relationship now so definitely a very important conversation here um who else just got a reading about an important conversation it was in their title too um sagittarius and we have a lot of fire here but it doesn't have to be i have pisces i have virgo but they did get a conversation energy uh specifically Spirit, please clarify this bottom row for Cancer. Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, I'm sorry. The Fool and the Hanged Man with the Moon. Yeah. Strong Pisces energy. Uh, we have Aries here now as well. But there is a new beginning. A new beginning is coming from this conversation. A new begin beginning is coming from this renewal. So... Spirit is definitely giving you a chance to let go of your hurt and take a risk on new energy or let go of a pain that your person caused you or a past person caused you and give you a chance if you want to take a risk. I honestly do feel like if this is a past person with the two of pentacles here, the moon, I don't really see you taking the risk. Um, the energy is here for you to take the risk, so if you want to, you can. But I do feel like you may or you may more or less just feel better about having the conversation with them, getting the closure, and emotionally moving down the path of the unknown because you feel ready to do that. And a lot of you definitely could be a new energy that gives you this catalyst to come out of the shadows. The energy to heal is here. The energy to move on is here the energy to move on with this person still is also here so pretty pretty big energy of free will so that's what i have here for you cancer i mean we all have free will it's always going to be big energy of free will but just giving you the energies that are available to you instead of kind of giving an outcome for the readings like i used to because nobody's going to have the same outcomes everyone's going to do certain things differently right so let's get some oracle on this spirit for cancer for the rest of the month of November in cancer's love lives. Please show me for cancer. Let's see what your oracle has for my beautiful cancers. We have solitude. We have victim. And we have Divine Feminine. So the Oracle has called out the Divine Feminine here. So um, claiming, claiming, stating the Divine Feminine is in a victimized mindset around love. So whether that be you or them, feminine could be masculine if you are a man. Some people just have more feminine energy than others. But they are calling out the feminine here saying that the... Um, 
Feminine energy is the one that is kind of feeling tied to the past or tied to the hurt. Spirit, please clarify this for Cancer. Solitude with lessons. Yeah, a lot of lessons learned. A lot of lessons had to be learned. We have victim with devotion. So here comes this person's time and energy, but you still are a bit fearful and connected to that hurt. And Divine Feminine with Conclusion. Beautiful. I'm telling you, a very large energy of closure, closing out a cycle, learning the lesson, and seeing what this person has to offer. So, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's get each Zodiac sign's feelings for my beautiful Cancers. All the way from Aries to Pisces spirit. All right, Cancer, Aries feelings for you, Page of Cups, could be an apology coming in, or your Cancer may just start opening up, I'm sorry, your Aries may start opening up more emotionally. For others of you, you may feel like you're on a friend level with your Aries. Taurus feelings for you are the Nine of Pentacles. So Taurus is trying to find their worth right now. They are definitely in position of wanting to feel seen, noticed, and appreciated by you, whether you are giving them that or not. They are still in a position of wanting to give themselves that self-love, but still reaching to be recognized by your energy. Gemini's feelings for you, Seven of Wands. So you may be dealing with a very defensive Gemini right now, or your Gemini may be in extreme fighter position on fighting to make this relationship work or fighting for you. For others of you, your Gemini could just be acting very defensive. Cancer's feelings for you are the Three of Wands. So Cancer is either waiting on your energy or they have already turned your back turned their back on you so if you left out a cancer they're waiting on you if cancer left you out you are cancer so there could be an insinuation of waiting so take which way you want to take this there is an energy around waiting or choosing the new path ahead leo's feelings for you nine of swords leo is overthinking this connection sleepless nights anxiety definitely not feeling very good about the way things have gone Virgo's feelings for you are the Nine of Cups. So Virgo feels like you are their wish fulfillment, their dream come true. You make them feel very good and content. Libra's feelings for you are the Seven of Cups. So Libra's feeling pretty confused about where they stand with you. You may have options and it is confusing Libra on how you feel about them. Or you could be dealing with a Libra who has options if you don't feel like you do. Next is Scorpio's feelings for you as the Hierophant. So if you are not already married to a Scorpio, definitely could be going down the road of marriage. You could work and or go to school with a Scorpio as well. But this is commitment and or higher level commitment. Definitely could be on the road to commitment with your Scorpio. Sagittarius feelings for you are the Ten of Cups. So Sagittarius views you as their happiness, their blissful energy, that Ten of Cups, that happy family, that happy home, that happy life. So if you are not already in this energy with Sag, definitely on the road to it. And they feel like you are their one. Next up is Capricorn's feelings for you as a three of pentacles. So Capricorn is very interested in working together with you, compromising, working together as a team, being on the same page and not necessarily creating tension between the two of you. Aquarius feelings for you, Cancer, are the Five of Pentacles. So Aquarius feels very left out by your energy. You could have ghosted an Aquarius. For some of you, an Aquarius ghosted you and they feel the sense of loss as well or they know they have left out your energy. And Pisces feelings for you are the Five of Swords. So it could be a lot of arguing with Pisces and or breakup and separation. For others of you, you and Pisces may just have a lot of drama doesn't have to necessarily end up in a breakup or separation. There could just be a lot of drama between the two of you. And that's what I got for you, Cancer. Let's make sure everyone's out. All right. Thank you, Cancer. And have a wonderful rest of your month. I will see you very soon. And have a good one. Bye now.